going to start the vlog with a segment <laughs> that we've talked about doing before that we thought would be really fun. Maybe even one day when we're not traveling anymore, we want to do it more often. Potentially. It's it's one of the, like, a lot of times we think about what will we do when we hit 100 countries, and this is one of the ideas. So today's vlog is going to start with cooking with Kara, and it's when we cook things that we've eaten around the world and try to make them on our own. So Bob and Gina are going to teach us their homemade pasta recipe today. And they've been generous enough to even share it with you, so we'll, uh, we'll link the recipe in the comments below. Don't judge their recipe based off how well Kara cooks it. <laughs> I'm not a very good cook. <laughs> First up, we're going to pick some vegetables and herbs for our pasta dish in Gina's garden. She has this huge, beautiful garden, and you, when you walk into it, you can just smell the vegetables and the herbs and the fruits. It is just so beautiful. And we're gonna take some. Know this. Now we have tomatoes, eggplant, thyme, and oregano. All right, so we're gonna start with, we're gonna make about a pound of pasta. And there's only one trick. There's only one thing that's important, okay. which is that you need to sneak up on the flour. And what I mean by that is we're gonna put together all the dry ingredients and we're gonna create like a little mountain. Mm -hmm. And we'll make a little like well in it. And then we're gonna put the wet ingredients in, which is mostly eggs and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. So we're gonna need about two and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour, which is here. Okay. And put it and you can put it in here and then we'll add the rest of the dry ingredients. Okay. Still no, 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 here, oh. let's measure it. Oh I thought the <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a really good time. Okay, so that's great. I'm adding in semolina flour, which is made out of corn. Half a teaspoon of regular old table salt. How exact? That's perfect. Looks great. Can't go wrong here. And a pinch of nutmeg. Oh, real nutmeg! But just the nutmeg, not your fingers. <laughs> okay? This is going to be a vegetarian Sorry, pasta. Just... We don't need your finger in there. Okay, good. If only there were smell of vision you're going to take that and you're going to make a little um, volcano. With my hands? You're just going to dump those. it slowly to try to get it to pile up. And again, if okay. you, there's no problem. There's, you okay. cannot mess this up. Okay. Don't get nervous. <laughs> just, put it, just put it in a pile right there. Oh, I'm putting it on the table. We're putting it on the table. This is where it Fun. gets real. Oh, I feel like a real chef. Be bold. It's just flour. Uh. Great. We're just going to create a little crater. Uh, a little crater. This will be the fun part of the when we get to this in a minute. We're going to put the wet ingredients right in this well, and you'll see what happens. The recipe calls for three large eggs. We don't have large eggs here typically, so we're going to use four. And it's your call. We can use four whole eggs, or we mm -hmm. could use three whole eggs and a yolk. Mmm. Wow! Look at how she does it. Is that it? Holy moly! Did you see that? <laughs> I've never seen it like that. What are you Fantastic! Do? <laughs> uh, it's a lot more complicated than what you just did. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yay! I usually crack it and then pour the yolk pour, pour uh, back and forth. But yeah. that was fantastic. These eggs are so orange. They're red, aren't they? Yeah. In fact, they call that the white and the red of the egg here. Huh. The rosso and bianco. So huh. we say the white and the yolk. They say the red. They Even look it's different not red. too. Like they're like, like wrinkly. Hopefully your pasta turns out okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. You're gonna need whisk. I think about a tablespoon of olive oil, or maybe a tablespoon and a half. In here. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. None of this is very precise. Okay. I'm such a rule follower. It's hard for me to just. Try to let bit. your hair down, <laughs> Met metaphorically. Okay, so you decided to go with one tablespoon. That's good. What did you say? One to two. That's good. <laughs> That's fine. That's all right. Now, like I just you know one. how to do eggs, so beat those a little bit so okay. they're all stirred up. Just and it's gonna get. I'm gonna have some fun here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm going to pour the wet ingredients into the crater. This is 
This is the scariest thing. No, it's okay. This is the big fork in the road. You can use your fingers or you can use that fork. I'm definitely using my fingers. Okay. Sort of try to bring the dry ingredients into the with the wet what? without breaking the without breaking the wall. I probably should have made this well a little bigger and we would have been <laughs> able to fit it all in. So you want to just kind of stir it in from the edges. Pasta was so cool. Okay, your turn. Okay. Is there a certain speed? Or just Let's see, are we in the northern hemisphere or the southern? I'm just kidding. <laughs> really got lazy here, doing the work. <laughs> You're doing great, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, You've boss. good work. The way I do this is try to get it to where you feel like you can just barely handle it by hand. See how it's not, mm -hmm. it's not spreading out much? Okay. Can I get it? Can I get it off the surface? Can I just... Right, exactly. You see how it's starting to mm -hmm. get it's to more of, a, more of a, like you said, a dough. It's pasta dough. It's pasta dough. Actually, pasta means dough. Really? Yeah. How's it feel? Feels good to me. You ready to go to a restaurant and get some pasta? <laughs> <laughs> get under there with this thing and kind of flip it over. The whole thing over? Yeah, just kind of like, just so that we you can see where I'm we are. You know I'm with flipping things. Ready? One, two. Having flashbacks. One. Don't two, be nervous. Three. That's great. Yes. You did it. Just keep adding a little bit of flour, like like this. Okay. And we're just gonna fold it over until it's just not quite sticky. A little bit easier. Yeah. It's very smooth. So by folding it, you're bringing the outside to the inside to the outside. So we just finished kneading the dough. It has a nice consistency, like an earlobe or a baby's bottom. Feels really good. It really wasn't that crazy hard. I was very nervous, but Bob kept me calm. I think we could do this on our own if we wanted to. It has to sit for 30 minutes in plastic so it doesn't dry out. And in the meantime, we're gonna make the sauce. But we're gonna actually, you're gonna make slices uh -huh. and then you're gonna layer them in a pan um, with olive oil. We're gonna brown them. Flip them over, brown them, and that's basically it. Then we're gonna add some herbs, the garlic, a little bit of tomato sauce, and then that's it. Really, really simple, okay? okay. And then you'll be tossing that. So, yum. your job right now is to slice up the melanzana. This way. Yeah. We should totally be listening to Italian music. That looks great, Kara. Those are perfect slices. So Bob helps me make the dough, and Gina's helping me make the sauce. We're going to brown the melanzana in the pan with olive oil, because we're in Italy. Great. Okay. Olive oil? I like a lot of herbs, and yeah. so just keep sliding them off. And they're all going to go in together. They're all going to go in together. We are putting in the final touches for the sauce. Putting in the herbs, garlic, the vegetables, red pepper flakes, and tomato sauce. It's so pretty. Yeah, I love white with green. Bob likes spicy. I like it pretty spicy. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I've just poured everything into this pan. It is smelling so delicious. The garlic that's cooking with the herbs. I am so excited. And this is going to sit for a bit while we roll out the pasta and put it in the pasta machine. Cutting machine. What is it called? Pasta roller. Pasta roller. And that's it. <laughs> Your sauce is done. Yay. It does smell so good. So good. good. I feel like we're out of time. I'm glad. I'm glad. So if you want to be completely traditional, you'd get a roller and roll it out. And that's totally authentic and it's beautiful and it's cool. The problem is when you go that far with authentic, it becomes so difficult that you do it maybe once a year. So we have what we call permitted cheats, right? And this is a permitted cheat. You make the pasta by hand, but you take one of the most difficult steps. And if a machine can do it as well, then I'm okay with that. Because okay. it means we make pasta more often than we would right. otherwise. So we're gonna, use okay them. we're gonna use them. Okay, that's good. I'm hungry. Yeah, that's the other thing. Okay, so you're, 
Your dough is looking really good. It kind of Yay. flattened out. It looks like it's it's a little on the wet side, which is totally fine. We don't want it on the dry side. Okay. It'll dry as we use it. Feel that. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, so let's cut that one in half. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like, but it feels good. <laughs> it's just ni nice and soft and pliable. So as you dial this down, it gets mm -hmm. thinner and thinner and thinner. Mm -hmm. right, so we're going to start at one, which is the widest opening. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to feed this thing through slowly. That's not, nothing bad's going to happen. Okay. I don't think. Okay. This is crazy! That's good. That's fine. Oh, I made it too okay. fast. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Beautiful. Wow, that wow. is fantastic, Kara. The only reason to catch it is so it doesn't, it doesn't stretch any more than it. Yeah, we want to. Love. Well, I didn't. This is all Kara. <laughs> so we have these nice strips of pasta that are nice and flat and beautiful. And we're going to roll them up and cut them by hand with the knife and then unroll them. And it's going to look like pasta, hopefully. It's not the fastest. That's my okay, first that's time. Perfect. That's perfect. That all right. Good. This width. Okay. All right? Or whatever width you want. It doesn't matter. That looks good. This is homemade pasta, so what, however it turns out is what we're going to eat. It doesn't look perfect. That means you can tell it's homemade. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Ooh. like one big. My first noodle! <laughs> I love my first one. It's so imperfect. How fun is that? And you said these only cook for like a minute? A couple, minute or two, yeah. They cook almost it's basically instantly. already noodly. Like I feel like I could just eat it right now. Yay! We just finished cutting all of the noodles. They're all very imperfect and different, which I think is super fun because that means they were homemade. And we're about to put them all in the water and then we throw in the sauce. It's done! Like a pro! <laughs> Lost an eggplant and a noodle! <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheese? Red, white, both. So everything is ready to eat. This has had a lot of hard work put into it. Really hope you can taste all of the hard work. <laughs> it looks really good and it smells really good. Mm hmm I love it. This is so delicious. I can't take all of the credit, but I am super impressed with this. Making this pasta. I can't believe how good the noodles are. And the sauce. And of course the setting just makes it so much better. Okay. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. You're gonna have to. We definitely don't want cat in our pasta. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. Watch out and throw it in. Get some oil on here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, no, it won't. Okay, well, now there's you, still a little bit of white. It's in fine. There. It's fine. You're there. I, okay. I don't need to. Sweet. I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, you're on your own. No, I need you. This is. You're a. <laughs> this is a. She, she's obviously a professional. Obviously. So,